Hey everybody, it's Hexa, and today I'm going to be talking to you guys about some things about Romania. Because I've noticed that a lot of you guys are from Romania, and you're interested in my thoughts on Romania, and all that kind of stuff. And actually, earlier today, I started thinking about some of the things that I miss about being home in my home country. So, that's what I'm going to be talking about today. And the first thing, the first thing, like the, the thought that sparked this video was that I bought some peach juice and I really didn't like it at all. And that got me thinking about Frigat Nectar de Piersic, which is, <laughs> for you guys who don't speak Romanian, that is a kind of peach nectar juice thing. I really like it and it's like one of my favorite things to order from restaurants when I go back home. Um, yeah, so basically this video is just going to be a quick little list of the things that I miss about Romania and my hometown Buzo. Um, so the first thing I miss is Brigat Nectar de Piersic. Another thing that I miss is how cheap and how good the food is. Like, you know, there's a there's a bistro in Buzo that we like to go to as a family where you pay 35 lei for a steak and fries and a salad and it's like really, really good. And in China, in Shanghai, you pay probably five or six times that amount of money for just a steak because all the meat has to be imported so getting good steak is extremely expensive here and I never get to eat good meat except when I'm in Romania and I really miss the food I miss the food so much here we don't we don't have sarmale we can't like there's a there's a Greek restaurant on my street where you can get something similar what are they what, what are they called um are they dolmadakia i think i think dolmadakia is like the word for for um greek saramale and saramale are basically meat rolls so uh the greek version is in i think a grapevine leaf but the romanian ones are in pickled cabbage and kind of it's just rice and meat stuffed inside a cabbage leaf and made into like a tiny little roll and they're so so good served with um with sour cream with uh smintina <laughs> and i like beef stew beef soup chorba de vacuza chorba de perishware some of my favorite soups um <laughs> What else do I miss? I miss snow. Yeah, I've, I've talked about food enough, but so that that's it. I miss the food. I miss the food and I miss the fact that the food is cheap. Um, I miss snow because in Shanghai it does not snow. Uh, we're kind of on the seaside and for some reason just no, no snow here. So that is another thing that I miss about Romania is that it snows a lot and even though it's colder, snow kind of makes it worthwhile because it's pretty and it's fun and you can play in it and stuff, so that's awesome. Um, here in Shanghai, if we get like one or two inches of snow, sometimes they close the schools. And like in Romania, people are still going to school when the when the snow is like that deep. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's, it's pretty different. Um, I miss the fact that in the summer, even though it's hot, it's not humid. In Shanghai, it's really, really humid, and it's just, it feels like you're breathing water every time. It's, it, it, in the summer, it's like 35 to 40 degrees, and it just feels like you're breathing water. It's so humid, and you sweat so much, and everything is just sticky and disgusting. It's bad. Uh Okay, moving on. Um I miss makeup. 
<laughs> and I know that's really silly to say, but um, Romania has some brands that we do not have in China. Uh, for example, the Sephora's in Romania have the brand Too Faced, which I still don't have any Too Faced products. Actually, that's not true. I have a tiny little tester from Too Faced, but I haven't really used it that much. It's a it's a BB cream and it's not in my color, so not in my my skin tone, so I haven't really had a chance to use it. But yeah, last time I went to Sephora in Romania, I saw that they had Too Faced contours and lip products, and I was so happy. I didn't have money to buy them, but like this summer, this summer when I go, I'm just, I'm going all out. I'm buying things because Too Faced is amazing. Their, their contour powders smell like chocolate and I really, really want something like that because it's an antioxidant and it smells nice and it's pretty. Eh, all those things. Um, let me think. Oh, this is hard. Actually, it's not hard. It's just like I can't organize things. I miss my family. That's a that's a thing. <laughs> yeah, but you know, it's it's kind of obvious. I miss uh, visiting family and friends who live in Romania because I only get to see them in the summer when I go back to Romania. Um, <clears throat> I miss the fact that Buzo is so small. And I know that's really weird because I love Shanghai for being so big and so exciting and so many things going on all the time but also it's like I can get from my from my neighborhood from my quartier to uh to the centro to the center of the town like the town square um in like a 40 minute walk <laughs> and I think it's really weird because I, I was going to the centro with some friends of mine once and they took the bus and it was weird because for me walking 30 or 40 minutes to get somewhere is no big deal because I like taking long walks and Shanghai is such a big city that 30 or 40 minutes walking just is doesn't seem like a big deal to you anymore. Um, but yeah, it's, it's cool that you're always so close to everything else. Um, but then again, you know, there's also drawbacks to that because everything is closed on the weekends. Everything is fucking closed. <laughs> and it drives me crazy. Like, shops close at 5 p.m. on Sunday. And I'm like, what are you? No. Why? Why? This is because Romania is a very strongly orthodox country, uh, an orthodox Christian country. And Sundays are just, Sundays are for Jesus and God and all that and on Sundays nothing happens everything is closed everyone is resting nobody is doing anything on Sunday except me sitting there complaining and freaking out because it's Sunday and I can't do anything drives me crazy but we're not here to complain we're here to say cool things about Romania so it is kind of cool that I can get from my quartier to the centro that quickly I don't I don't understand the buses I mean I guess in Bucharest it's different because they have a metro system and it's a much bigger city, but in Buzo it's like that it's, you know, you're always close to everything else. I miss the parks. Um, my park that I grew up in is called Grung. That was like my, my favorite park to go to and I went there every day when I was a little girl uh, before we moved to China. And there's other really cool parks. There's Parco Margiloman. Um, which has a cool palace castle thing in it. It's it's not big, but it's like it's some kind of weird mansiony thing. Um, and Parco Tineretului, which I think it means uh, like young people park. <laughs> but there's there there used to be. I don't know if they're still there. I think they are. There's some like really creepy swimming pools that are just very filthy and scary looking that I would not go into in the park, but I don't know if they're still there. Guys, anyone from Buzo, are, are those are those swimming pools still there? Because they were kind of scary and probably a health hazard. Like I was in that water once and there were frogs. No, 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 no. Mm -mm. Um, <laughs> oh my God, <gasps> Forneti, mother, I've stopped swearing. I've monetized my videos, guys.
uh, just letting you know and they said that excessive profanity is not allowed so I'm gonna have to try not to swear as much <laughs> uh, Forneti is the best thing ever ever So Forneti is like, it's a thing that sells tiny, tiny little pastries and they have so many flavors that are so good. They have like cherry and apple and nuts and chocolate and salty cheese and sweet cheese. So many different things. It's so good. I love Forneti and every time I pass by one, I just like talk to my mom or my grandpa or whoever and I'm like, can we please get some? Like, and then if we go, we get like a huge bag because I freaking love Forneti. There is a really cool thing about Romania, which is that there are secondhand shops freaking everywhere. Sehash is a huge thing and my grandma loves it. She always goes to secondhand shops and buys things for me. Um, and it's really cool. Like sometimes you find things that are just bad and just weird, but a lot of the times they have some really nice stuff. Like some of the stuff is even designer, you know, and there's so many secondhand shops in Romania that, you know, you can go anywhere and you'll find one. And if you go in there and you actually dig around, you'll find some really cool stuff. So I've actually bought quite a few things from secondhand shops in Romania. And some of them have become like, some of my favorite items in my closet. So that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, definitely secondhand shops in Romania are a great way to get some cool items that are already very loved and that are really cheap. And you know, secondhand shops are always having sales, which is awesome. I miss the fact that on weekends they close the boulevard um, I don't know where they do this. I don't know how many of the towns and cities in Romania have this thing, but in, uh, in Buzo, on the weekends, they close the boulevard, um, so that kids can roller skate and ride bikes. So basically they, they get like police to, to just guard it. And then they put up these big barricade type things and cars are not allowed on the main boulevard. Um, and you know, there's just, kids on roller skates and bikes and it's so fun and skateboards skateboards yes <laughs> yeah um i used to like going to the boulevard on weekends to um roller skate and stuff but i don't really do that anymore <laughs> there are some fun items that we have in romania that we don't have here you know magnum ice cream we have Magnum ice cream in China as well, but we don't have as many flavors. So when I go back to Romania, I'm super excited about the Magnum Rose, the pink Magnum. It's so cute. It's just, it's glittery and it tastes a little bit like champagne. It's so, so good. I love the pink Magnum and I don't have it here. So whenever I go to Romania, especially since I go in the summer, it's just awesome that I get to enjoy pink Magnum. It's that's my jam. I also miss bufuleti. Bufuleti are a big thing in, in uh, Romania and we don't have them here. I mean, we have other kinds, but we just don't, you know the ones with the, like the little yellow dog? Those are the ones. Those are the ones that, that my heart belongs to them. Um, and we don't have those there, here. We don't have those here. So um, yeah, that is another cool thing. I feel like I've talked so much already. Um, and I'm sure there's other things that I miss about Romania, but like these are kind of just some of the main ones. I'm pondering whether I should mention churches because I'm not religious. I don't really like going to church. Like you couldn't drag me to church if you tried, but there's something so cute and romantic and, and sweet about church bells. So I think church bells are cool. I like it when I hear church bells, but at the same time, it's kind of annoying when they wake you up because my my apartment my grandparents apartment in Romania is right next to a church right next to a church and like when they ring and I'm sleeping it is not happy but if I'm not sleeping I'm like oh church bells so pretty so nice um yeah now I'm just like thinking about all kinds of foods I I miss cheese and tomatoes those are so good in Romania I miss watermelon olives Salami, oh my god, salam de Sibiu. <laughs> That's the 
video that you guys like the most? That's my most popular video is the one in which I'm eating salam de Sibiu. I don't understand you people. Like what, what did you search for? Like what, d just Romanian girl eating salami or girl eating Romanian salami or whatever. Like what? <laughs> I don't understand, but cool. You know, whatever floats your boat. Um, but yeah, I miss salam de Sibiu. Um, chini minis. I love chini minis and cookie crisp and those are all cereals cereal things that we don't have over here and you know like i mean we have we have um nesquik in china as well but it's imported and it's a lot more expensive um so we don't get it that often but whenever i'm in romania my grandma always buys nesquik and there is always chocolate powder in the house Okay, so that's about all that I came up with to talk about. Um, I hope you guys like this video, and I hope you, um, you know, got to thinking about some of the things that are awesome about Romania. Uh, because, yeah, I don't live in Romania, but I've been to Romania, and I go to Romania, so I know the differences, and, you know, it's just kind of to put things into perspective for you guys a little bit, and to let you know what the differences are, and what are the big things that I miss when I am not in my home country. All right, again, thank you for watching this video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! I remembered that I forgot to add a very important thing, which is Nutri Day. Yaurt de Bogut, the drinking Nutri Day. Just sour, no other flavor. I freaking love that stuff. And every time we go back, there's a fridge full of it waiting because my grandma knows I probably drink one or two of those every single day. Like the big size ones, not the little ones, the big ones. Two, up to two. One or two every single day.